When you think about treating depression, it's easy to assume that newer medications like Trintelix might be better than old classics like Prozac. After all, newer must mean improved, right? Well, not so fast. Let's break down the facts together to see if latest really is the greatest. Hi everyone, my name is Matthias Hartman. I'm a board certified psychiatric physician assistant and I make videos on how to improve your mood. Prozac or fluoxetine has been around since the 1980s. It's one of the first medicines people think of when it comes to antidepressants. It's like the classic rock of the antidepressant world, reliable, well-known and backed by decades of use. Then we've got Trintelix, also known as Vortioxetine. This one's a newer kit on the block, approved in 2013. It's marketed as having some fresh benefits and you might hear people talking about its extra perks for cognitive functions like memory and focus. Now let's take a peek behind the curtains and see how these antidepressants work. Prozac works almost 100% as an SSRI, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, meaning it boost serotonin levels. Think of serotonin as a feel-good chemical that helps improve our mood. What is less known about Prozac is that it also, although weakly, works as a norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, which increases norepinephrine levels, and it also blocks 5-HT2C, which is a specific serotonin receptor. Blocking 5-HT2C leads to increased norepinephrine and dopamine levels. It's unclear how much the norepinephrine blocking mechanism and the 5-HT2C blocking mechanism really matter in the real world. But Prozac does cause activating side effects for some people, like trouble sleeping and increased anxiety, and that might be in part why. Trintelix, on the other hand, is a bit more complex and has many different mechanisms that are clinically relevant. Like Prozac, it also works as an SSRI. On top of that, it also interacts with multiple serotonin receptors. It blocks 5-HT3 and 5-HT7, it boosts 5-HT1A, and it's a partial booster for 5-HT1B and 5-HT1D. For reference, 5-HT just means serotonin. So all of those are specific serotonin receptors that Trintelix does specific things at. Imagine Trintelix like a hybrid car. More bells and whistles promising extra benefits like improved concentration and memory. But as with any new tech, we have to ask, does all the added complexity actually translate into better performance for most people? All right, how well do these medications actually work? Let's look at the evidence. Prozac has been around for longer, so it has more evidence showing it works to improve mood. Both Prozac and Trintelix are FDA approved in the US for major depressive disorder, also known as depression. But Prozac is also FDA approved for obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder, bulimia, and premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Whereas Trintelix only has that one FDA indication. In a 2018 meta-analysis, Cipriani and colleagues compared 522 randomized controlled trials of over 100,000 people and found that Trintelic worked slightly better than Prozac for response. When all studies were looked at, Trintelix had a 0.28 effect size and Prozac had a 0.23 effect size. An effect size in a meta-analysis means how well the medication works. And the bigger the number, the better it works. 0.3 is a small effect size, 0.5 is a moderate effect size, and 0.8 is a large effect size. The researchers were comparing these two medicines based on response rates. A response rate is when a treatment works to decrease depression symptoms by at least 50%. Put a different way, people that took Trintelix were 66% more likely to achieve response, and people who took Prozac were 52% more likely to achieve response, and that was based on the odds ratios in the study. Odds ratios in a study is how likely someone is going to get the desired result. They also reviewed just the studies that specifically compared these two medicines, and similar results were found. But the differences in how well these medicines worked was not clinically significant. So we can't say for sure that Trintelix actually worked better than Prozac. Vordioxetine also has something Prozac doesn't have, it improves cognitive function. Cognitive dysfunction means you aren't able to think clearly or focus well. This improved cognitive function was shown by three different studies in 2012, 2014, and 2015. These positive results of the studies led the European Medicines Agency, which is the equivalent of the FDA here in the US, 
to approve vortioxetine for the treatment of cognitive dysfunction associated with major depressive disorder. Side effects are a big deal when it comes to choosing an antidepressant. Nobody wants to feel worse when they're trying to feel better. Prozac side effects include anxiety, trouble sleeping, tremor, which is a fine shake, sexual dysfunction, which is mostly difficulty with orgasm, headache, nausea, dry mouth, and sweating. Trintelic side effects include nausea, constipation, dry mouth, and headache. Trintelix causes some of the least amount of sexual dysfunction of all the antidepressants. The reason why is because it strongly boosts the 5-HT1A receptor. Both Trintelix and Prozac cause a decrease in REM sleep, also known as rapid eye movement sleep. REM sleep is where you have vivid dreams and it plays a role in helping our brain consolidate and process new information. Finally, there are a few more things to think about before deciding which medication is right for you. Prozac is available as a generic, which is fantastic news if you are budget conscious. You can get it pretty cheaply and it's covered by most insurance plans. Trintelix, since it's newer, doesn't have a generic yet. That might make it much more expensive and insurance coverage might not always be as generous. Both Prozac and Trintelix have long half-lives, which means they stay in the body a long time. So both of them can easily be stopped and should not cause discontinuation side effects, which is where you get symptoms like irritability, flu-like symptoms, and brain zaps when stopping an antidepressant medication. Prozac and Trintelix are both metabolized mainly through the CYP2D6 enzyme in the liver, which means they are broken down the same way. However, Prozac also inhibits several CYP enzymes, including 2C9, 2C19, and 2D6. That means that Prozac might interact with some other medicines. For example, Abilify, also known as aripiprazole, an FDA-approved augmentation treatment for depression, is metabolized through CYP2D6 and CYP3. 3A4. Since Prozac inhibits the breakdown of 2D6, it can increase the Abilify level by a lot. So the Abilify dose will have to be lowered, usually by about half. So what do you think is the best option? Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like this video next, where I discuss the cause of depression simplified. I'll see you over there.